Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I say morning because it's 8 o'clock at the moment um, on the plot because we are starting the garden this weekend which is really exciting but it does just mean I've got less time over the allotment at the moment so I thought I'd quickly get down here in the morning, get a couple of the jobs done um, so we can go back and get the garden really sorted so hopefully um, I've got, obviously got the Monday off because it's bank holiday and I've taken the Tuesday off as well so I'm hoping that means that if we can get majority of the garden stuff done um, Sunday, Monday, then I can have all day on Tuesday, providing that the weather isn't poor. Just no idea what the weather's going to do at the moment. It said it was meant to be overcast today, but it's glorious sunshine, so I'll probably be taking my coat off soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, just going to do a couple of bits and bobs today. I bought the rose bush over just to see how it looks and I probably will put it into a pot rather than into the ground just in case I decide that I want to move it at all um, it might be a lot easier and there's a lot of grass growing over there as well so um, yeah I just thought if we put it into a pot it will lift it up a little bit as well um, and if there's any problems because it's near to the compost um, it will just give me a little bit more options let's say so um, yeah but grass needs a really good cut down um it's got so long literally in like a week it's crazy so i've just quickly gone around the plot and just had a little look unfortunately my um pak choy did bolt um so but somebody said you can eat the shoots so i'm going to cut them off today um, and take them home with me and i'm going to take some rhubarb home as well because um i've got family coming over tomorrow and i just thought it'd be a really nice opportunity to make some rhubarb crumble um but yeah so I'm gonna get on with a couple of bits of streaming um I need to figure out as well something that's covering the kale and the beetroot only because it's drying out the ground is drying out quite a lot which is why I think the patchway bolted because um I didn't water it enough so I'm gonna try and see what we can do if I've got enough time I'm gonna build the cover for the broccoli um, as well because that's not getting enough water or enough moisture the ground is quite wet um, but just from the dew where it's really hot in the day and cold at night so um, I need to figure out something quick otherwise I'm going to have to come down every day to water which is obviously not ideal so yeah gonna get on with it now okay so I've just popped some monge to along the back here and here so these are what I grew from seed actually um so it'd be really interesting to see what they come out like i've also got these which um i can't remember whether i grew them from seed or i think i bought these ones because these weren't coming up very well so um these are coming up really well and i've just added another layer it's super messy and i'm fully aware of that um so that'll be um something i've put in my notes for next year is to get something a little bit more sturdy but um, these ones across here are really sturdy so I'm hoping um, that they should do pretty well and then I've put them along the edge here. The edamame looks like it's doing okay um, but I just don't know, I've never grown it before and I've never seen people grow it so I'm not quite sure kind of how it's meant to grow. The um, string that I've put on there is really really loose so it shouldn't cause any issues to it actually growing that should be okay um but yeah pleased with those these come in really strong so i think what i did with the ones over here that i planted in i didn't leave them long enough and i think they were super weak and the birds just ate at them so i'm hoping these might last a little bit longer fingers crossed i've also planted in three more um broccoli because they were in the containers that I bought from B&Q and they were going so discoloured where they just weren't in the ground and getting enough moisture. So um, I've just popped them in the ground. I haven't got anything to cover them at the moment and I don't think I'm going to have enough time to build the cover for them today. But fingers crossed, they should do one more day without getting eaten alive. So, but we'll see, we'll see. And then I've just planted one more cabbage just at the end here. So... The other cabbage got absolutely demolished by slugs which were covered so um, fingers crossed no more get eaten so this guys is the rose that I was talking about 
and I just think it is so beautiful. So I've just popped it here. I am gonna go and get a um, container, something very really similar to this um, terracotta one. And I'm, I've just kind of like put it up against it to see, and I think it will just come up really lovely. So I'm hoping these bits will go up this way and go round the compost. And then these will kind of split off and go up into the big side of the fruit cage. But um, there are a couple of little bits on here already this year. Um, and then one there as well. But that one looks like it's dying a little bit. But so I might get one or two roses, but we'll see. I just think they look really, really nice. So these are the Pat Choi guys. So as you can see, they are, oh, they have bolted. One of them hasn't though. This one right at the end here. So I'm going to try and hold on to that one for dear life. Um, but my kale's doing really nicely. Really pleased with that. Um, and the beetroots are coming up as well. I don't know if you can just see them. So they should be coming up very shortly. Um, this is also the reason that I really need to get the polytunnel done. So I bought this from B&Q because none of my tomatoes were coming up. And it's starting to get very orange. But it's got these tiny little, little holes taken out of them that I don't know what are from. But it's now also too high for my cold frame at home. So I really need to get that done over the next couple of days um, just so that I can get this in there really. Um, or get my other one up the little mini one that I bought. And these are the Romanesco cauliflowers. So I've kept some at home and I've bought some over here just in case these don't do well. And I'm gonna pop them just in this kind of bit here. And then I've got my courgette. So the one someone gave me last year did really, really well. Um, and I'm hoping, I've grown this from seed, I'm hoping this will do as well. But I've got so many of them because I planted some and then um, they didn't come up. So I planted more and now they've all come up. So my cousin's coming around tomorrow. So I'm going to give her a few as well because she has her own allotment plot. Um, and then I can give some of them away as well as some of my Romanesco because I've got loads of these as well. And the cherry tomato seed that I planted didn't come up. And then I bought these. Um, well, I only bought one to be fair. I bought this and then all my other tomatoes decided to come up, so I'll give her some of them as well. But other than that, everything's looking really good. The carrots look amazing, and the new set have definitely started to come through now. You can just see them. So yeah, really pleased. There's loads coming up here as well. So super happy with that. Garlic's doing great. Leeks are doing great as well, and the onions and garlic are just absolutely thriving. Um, got loads of random salad bits where the seeds got moved but can't complain if it's growing it's growing so always a good sign really so I've just quickly cut down all of the grass at the front of the poly, um, poly tunnel of the plot and then I've put the clippings into the uh, compost heap I've then um, I've actually decided to leave the bits at the front on the other side of the fence long just for the wildlife so but it's made a huge difference it makes it look just a little bit neater i obviously haven't done up to where the um polytunnel frame is so this will hopefully go back up in the next couple of days and then for the actual polytunnel area what i need to do is which is probably going to be a full day's worth of work um i'm going to dig around the sides i'm going to stick two or four stakes two at the back and two at the front um, and then connect the frame to that as well and hopefully that will secure it a little bit more with it being in the ground as well and then I probably just need to get something else to cover it all again um, and just have everything in pots for this year while that kind of kills everything down and um, someone said to get a bit of tarp so I might do that or a bit of carpet um, so we've actually got carpet at home that needs taken up so depending on when we do that that's what we'll do but I'm gonna cut some of the tulips today and take them home and put them in the um, living room because I just think they look beautiful. The potatoes are finally coming up. Thank goodness for that. Um, and then I just need to take some rhubarb home with me as well. But yeah, pleased.
it looks really really neat when the grass is cut i just love it one thing i do really need to get as well is actually a knife for here to be able to cut um especially things like the lettuce um rather than cutting them with scissors because i don't really think that's a probably the best way to be cutting lettuce out of the ground with scissors so um last year i managed to just cut the top off and it grew back again so rather than having to pick individual um like leaves off and stuff so i think i'll do that again this year on a couple of them and just test it out and make sure it wasn't just a, a fluke <laughs> but i think that's it for today um i'm gonna do this as a two-day vlog um just because i want to get the um frame for the broccoli and things done and i think that'll be really nice to pop into this video so yeah i will see you all tomorrow morning everyone so back for another day i'm going to get the um structure for the broccoli built now because it lasted through the night luckily didn't get eaten um but i don't know how many more days it will last i feel like i'm pushing my luck with it so i'm gonna get that built i've got some of the blue piping um and the scaffolding netting so i'll just make a basic structure at the bottom and then use the piping over the top and then put the scaffolding netting over that so hopefully that should hold i've got no idea if it will or not but we're going to give it a go anyway Okay, so I've just gone around the plot just to see what wood I've kind of got left and what I can use. Um, so I found these from when I built the fence. And then I've also got these from when I built it as well. And they are exactly the length of the bed. So I don't know whether to cut it down so it reaches just to the end here. And also to this one and leave the cabbage out of this for now. And then build a separate one that will go down here. And just do it that way because i can use this cover for there for now um, and then that way as well it'll just be easier to move and lift if i do need to get to the broccoli so not quite sure how i'm going to do it yet um but i just need to measure out the rest of the wood and see exactly how i can do it okay so i've just quickly built this and i've managed to find some posts so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this down as a layer staple one side of the um like scaffolding netting to one side of this and then put it over kind of thing and then just use it almost like a blanket and just pull it on and off rather than having to move it because this wood isn't treated and over the time where it's had moisture in it it's starting to split so it's really not that um sturdy so i think that's kind of like the best way to do it for now I've also been bitten to shreds by red ants. They are just everywhere on this plot. So I'm hoping I can get this done quick because it burns. Okay, so it's not perfect. And it probably won't keep the butterflies out because of this. But for now, it will keep the birds off. So I'm pleased with that. And then I've just pegged it in at the front here just for now until I can figure out what to do and then that bit can just still pull up. So yeah, I think, I think that's a good little cover just for now. Okay, so I managed to pick some salad and some rhubarb for today. Um, and I'm gonna pick a couple of the tulips as well. Um, let me show you those quickly, just before I go, because I don't want them to whittle. I'm gonna pick some of these. Um, just to put in a vase at home because I don't want them just to go to waste and I may pick these but I'm not sure yet I'm wondering if I pick them too early will they go a bit funny but I'll definitely be picking these ones today and take them home put them in a pot so yeah but overall the plot's looking really really good I'm really pleased with it um, still a little bit to do but other than that really happy especially as my monge too didn't get eaten last night which is always a nice little perk so i've got some french climbing beans that i'll probably put into here because this is where the peas were um and then i think these were my store-bought ones so i will there's a few peas coming up but i'll put the french climbing beans kind of in and around here um and then it should be okay 
other than that, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a lovely bank holiday weekend. Uh, we've got a lot to do in the garden and it's really getting there now. I can't wait to show you all how far we've got. I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So yeah, have a lovely weekend and take care. Bye, guys.